So by the time this video is posted, I'm going to be celebrating a really big number birthday. Like, huge. I'm 50! 50 years old! 50 years old! That's right, 1974. And guess what? It was a huge year for music. Some highlights from that year include the Captain and Tennille got married, and Sonny and Cher got divorced. Rush dropped their first album, and Van Halen played their first gig. Duke Ellington died in May, and Alanis Morissette was born in June. What a year. So, in celebration of my 50th, here are my top 10 bass lines from 1974. Number 10 is one of the great funk bass lines and demands a little aggressiveness to get right. It was laid down by the Ohio player's original bassist, the late, great Rock Jones. Number nine is a line that also doubles as a great bass melody but it's equal part jazz and funk. It was written and played by a 22-year-old making his debut with Weather Report, Alfonso Johnson. Number eight was written by Stevie Wonder and is a classic. Tell me something good. This line is simpler than you think, and it was played to perfection by one of the greatest bass players of the 1970s and one of my personal favorites, Bobby Watson. The number seven bass line carried Cool and the Gang to their first number one hit. It's a lesson in space and groove and influenced countless other bass lines, including Good Times by Chic. Hey, hey, hey. It was played by the one and only Robert Cool Bell. Number six is the final track from Bob James' one album, and it gets his title from its underwater sound. It's one of the most sampled tracks in all of hip hop, and the bass line was played by the late, great Gary King. Number five was a huge hit for the Jackson Five while still a part of the Motown machine. It was driven by a very Jamerson esque moving bass line played by William Salter, a remarkable bass doubler known more for co composing the songs Where Is the Love for Donny Hathaway and Just the Two of Us for Grover Washington Jr. Number 
number four is an ultra funky groove that's also one of the most sampled in history. To the man. Equal parts aggressiveness and finesse. It was laid down by Gordon Edwards, who also recorded with John Lennon, Paul Simon, and the supergroup Stuff. Number three is one of the great bass lines, recorded by one of the great bass players of our time. It's like a fingerprint. I wanna tell you, baby, change and go in the, room. the sound, the touch, the motion, the upper register playing, it's all like a signature. This one is classic Chuck Rainey, showing us how it's supposed to be done. From one of the greatest jazz funk albums comes a bass line unlike any other. The syncopation, the ghost notes, the way it fits with the drums, all innovative for the time and played by a bass player Chuck Rainey called the baddest cat he'd ever seen, Paul Jackson. Probably the most iconic bass line of 1974. It was written and played by a 21-year-old from Philly who would go on to become one of the most important bass players of the 20th century, Anthony Jackson. That's all you're getting, because I don't want a copyright strike on my channel. Number one is a bass line that sets a standard for the style, and if you can pull it off, still sounds amazing 50 years later. You want to slap on the bass? You got to deal with the Godfather. Larry Graham. Apparently, there was something in the music the year I was born. These are just some of my favorites from that year. What's your favorite bass line from 1974? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, so 50. You know what? I'm just getting started.